टुडे वी विल ड्रॉ ह्यूमन मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम द डायग्रमेटिक व्यू सो वी स्टार्ट अ डायग्राम विद द एक्सटर्नल जेनिटेलिया विच इज पेनिस द पेनिस इज ए कॉपिलेटरी मस्कुलर ऑर्गन कवर्ड विद द स्किन एंड द एंटीरियर पोर्शन is swollen it's called the glans penis the glans penis at the tip has loose fold of skin called the prepuce or the foreskin so you have to show it accordingly this is the urethral meatus and this is a loose fold of skin prepuce so on both the sides show prepuce and then inside the penis show a narrow tube urethra running through its length in human male the system is urinogenital the reproductive system and the urinary system have common opening urethra through which the urine and the semen that is the reproductive fluid of male passes through so on the two sides of penis show the loose skin folds scrotum holding the two testes the male primary male reproductive organs a testes is about 4 cm round or oval cluster of seminiferous tubules which are organized together compactly organized together with the help of tunica albuginea now i'm showing one side of the testis as the other side i will open up and show the internal anatomy the sperms once they form in the testis they are they move out through the duct called past reference now we'll stop drawing from here and bring you up here just as much length as you shown just go above and sh start showing the urinary system urinary system which i have told you is combined with the genital system show the presence of urinary bladder right in the straight line as this so this is urinary bladder and the urethra is coming out from here so start making the urethra but stop here now just below the urinary bladder is present a very important accessory gland called the prostate gland right now prostate gland has the urethra running through it it's called prostatic urethra within this there is going to be joining of the vas deferens so that's why i stopped it here you have to show the vas deferens coming up like this looping over the ureter this ureter is going above is coming from above from the kidney while the vas deferens is looping over it so show it like this this is a little tricky place where you are showing the ureter like this and the vas deferens has come above it now bring it down out here you have to show two seminal vesicles seminal vesicle just like prostate is another accessory duct so these are the seminal vesicle which are going to join which are going to produce a seminal plasma and the duct vas deferens when it receives the secretion of the seminal vesicle from both the side these are the two seminal vesicle 
when they pour their secretion into the vas deferens their duct as well as rest of the vas deferens are going to be called the ejaculatory duct so over here your diagram will not look very clear that is why just be little careful about drawing this part so i am trying to show you the seminal vesicle and the the duct is not very clear in the side view it will be clearer so now you continue with the vas deferens which is already shown here and this is prostate gland just below the prostate gland and above the penile urethra you have one more pair of glands this is p sized gland called the bulbo urethral gland bulbo urethral gland is p sized and produces mainly mucus and this mucus helps in clarifying the urinary passage and uh, also helps in lubrication during the copulation process so this side of diagram is complete now i'm going to show you one side of the testis and how this testis when we open how does it look so i'll have to enlarge it a little bit to show you the inside of the testis the anatomy of the testis so this part becomes a little disproportionate but never mind i am going to show you the testis from inside so this is the scrotum now testis is actually a collection of seminiferous tubule and each testis is divided into 250 lobules 250 units and each unit the testicular lobule has about 2 to 3 seminiferous tubule running through it so how will you show it you are going to show it in the form of a triangle which is covered with tunica albuginea Keep, don't try to make it straight line just make it a little wavy and inside each lobule try and show two seminiferous tubules so see how i'm making first make with a very very uh, loose hand try to make two seminiferous tubule again make a wavy triangle don't make it straight inside the triangle add up to seminiferous tubule again i'm making okay so this is seminiferous tubule now once these tubules meet at a juncture that juncture will look like a reticulate a network of tubules so that network of tubule you can show like this this network of tubule right outside the seminiferous tubule is called the rete testis rete testis reticulate testis reticulate part of the testis so this is rete testis from here the sperms which are still not swimming they are immotile but the liquid which is the juices which are produced by these ducts they make them go out they are pushed out of the ducts these straight ducts these parallel ducts which i am drawing now they are called the vasa afferentia large number vasa afferentia now these vasa afferentia will lead to a tube called the epididymis the tube is called epididymis it's a long and convoluted tubule it's divided into three parts it's called capet testis the epididymis 
and then of course we have the later part called the coda so caput corpora and coda part all of them join and they are called the epididymis epididymis has a fluid which will make the sperms motile so this is epididymis now it will come out and it is going to join the duct called the vas deferens so this is how on one side you are going to show the internal anatomy of the testes all of them are present in the connective tissue called tunica albuginea and now we can uh, label this diagram after showing the anatomy of one testis thank you okay now the labeling is also complete so once again we will see the primary organ primary sex organ testis one of them is open there are 250 testicular lobule the units they are made up of each one of them made up of two to three seminiferous tubule you can see the seminiferous tubules here which are embedded in the dense connective tissue now the seminiferous tubule leads to the next uh, duct they are the first accessory ducts they are called the reti testis the reticulate structure which you can see next one is the vasa afferentia number of parallel tubes running from there and then the third one is the epididymis which is a convoluted tubule lying on top of the kidney i have shown it on this side either otherwise it's this way so since we have opened it it comes out like this in dissection and then it will lead to the long tube which is looping over the ureter this looping over vas deferens it is vas deferens is going to meet the urethra here while the seminal vesicles and the prostate gland will pour the secretion inside the urethra as the sperms come the ejaculatory duct will not be clear it's very tiny this where i'm pointing out that's a ejaculatory duct you can even make some ampulla you know these are the um parts which are little dilated in the ducts so that the uh, liquids can pass easily then at a little distance you will see on the urethra another p size gland the bulbo urethral gland which will pour their secretion in the uh, urethra itself it clarifies the urethra of its acidic ph plus it provides the lubrication during copulation so now the sperms which are floating which are swimming rather freely they are swimming actively in the seminal plasma the nourishing liquids can pass through the urethra out of the penis and on this side i have tried uh, one more thing i have tried to show you the path of sperm sometimes in the exam they ask so within the labeling you should organize it in such a manner that you bring all the accessory ducts just next to the main part of the testis so that you can show the path of the sperms and on this side try and write all the accessory glands together so depending upon the question you have to draw and label accordingly then of course uh, rest of the labelings which i've been discussing again and again they are quite clear so that is the diagram of human male reproductive system complete with the details in the details of the testis